Welcome back to the channel. In the last days I have been uh, getting into some kind of service mode since a big su success about uh, cleaning up the map sensor and make a friend's Camry run much smoother. Oh, <laughs> run as it should, we can say, because it was hopeless. So after that, I've gone, uh, done the same job on the Land Cruiser, made one video about that. And now I think, okay, in this Celica. Yeah, this 2000 model Celica is not running as it should. It have of course some other problems too. Because of this engine have problem, but one thing will make this engine problem even worse is of course if the mix that is coming into the engine is wrong. If it's all too rich with gasoline, then it's going even worse, and making the problem even worse. This map sensor standing here, that is what's telling the engine what it's supposed to do. And I have seen on the other cars that that sensor is never fixed. Let's try this one too. Let's just take it out and see. Just hold down the clips. I like to use the screwdriver here now. Yeah, so I don't break anything. Yeah, it's loose. After the, that, it's two screws. See, I don't want to waste on losing it somewhere. And I up here have a nice place to put it. So about the camera is very close. Two screws. Take out the sensor. Up, oh, yeah. You see this sensor like the other ones. This is filled up with carbons or dirt that are coming through the filter. So this one is dirty, need to be cleaned up. I'm going to put in picture from the other one because this sensor is more or less the exact the same as in the Land Cruiser and in the Camry. See on the other side here, the sensor is clean. On the Land Cruiser, it was bad there too. And then up in here is the temperature sensors, and those are a little dirty, but not as bad as on the other cars. And this one is not good at all. So then we're going to fix it. The way of cleaning off this carbonated sensor here. If I put it in a way so you can see, is to use a special uh, chemistry for uh, cleaning sensors like this, but they didn't have it here in Norway. CRC uh, special sensor cleaner they didn't have. So use the Bietemos brake fluid. Or not break fluid, but break cleaner. Put on a little to start it, and then in up here. And I can see the camera. This sensor is standing this way, so the air was coming in here, hitting and going up there, and then hitting the sensors up in here, and this one from this side, that one was dirty, but actually 
This was going in very easy. The Land Cruiser and the Cumbria was uh, much worse than this one. are actually cleaned off very fast very easy only thing I need to do now just dry off some of this excel just too much then it's just drying for a few minutes This one is already dry. You can just put it in again. Fold right into place. Two screws. There, put back the sensor. There, it's back in. I have to admit, no, I've taken off. This was sensor number three, and uh, this time, of course, go even faster. I had the right big screwdriver and a small. Screwdriver, it's the same type of sensor, just a little different how they set up, but made more or less the same way. This one was cleaner than all the other cars. It was a little dirty, but uh, not that much. I'm not going to start up this car now because I have lifted up to check the brakes and things. They're coming back with a startup. So first I have to just check one of the back brake was hanging on so I'm going to make a video about that what could it could be if it's the main brake or the hand, hand brake or e-brake or what is holding it back I'm coming back